Hi, my name is Rune Kampowski. I'm here with Desireless to show you guys how to use some of my favorite items for painting. I am a professional artist and a model. These are the disposable palettes that I talked about earlier. These are really great when it comes to saving money and for people who are lazy like me. These are oil paints. Oil paints behave differently than any other kind of paint. You need a certain surface to work on, so that's why I have these. These are just two colors, and I'm just gonna show you real quick kind of how I do it. Typically, I would have all of my colors laid out and then with my Royal N Lang Nickel brush. Basically, a lot of oil painting is mixing colors, and some people use a palette knife, but I tend to just mix with my brush because again, I'm a lazy painter, but so you kind of mix the color that you're looking for on the palette and then transfer it to the canvas. For example, if I was doing some sort of skin tone, this color would work and you can make it more yellow or more pink or whatever color you want to use really. And then you take it from here and then apply it to the canvas. So you're not doing any mixing on the canvas. That's what the palette is for. And then you get your exact color and put it on the canvas. And again, normally I would have 10 to 12 colors on here. You can mix all of those colors. Paintings have so many more colors than you would think in them, especially skin tones. Skin tones are never just skin color. There's always blues and greens and reds and all those colors. So learning how to mix paint and mix colors is one of the most important parts of painting. And that's one of the hardest parts of painting. But you can really blend through colors and with oil paints. So these really come in handy. And these paints are great for mixing colors. That's Windsor and Newton. And these particularly very good skin tone colors. Different brushes always are gonna make different marks. I like kind of the square tip just for my personal style. I like kind of like rectangular paint strokes, if that makes sense. You can get dome shaped brushes, which are don't really show the paint strokes as much. You can do more like smooth blending, which is sometimes needed. And typically for a painting, I'll use more than one brush or more than one size, but I always, come back to these. These are called flats. There's flats and I wanna say domes. So some people prefer domes. I typically prefer flats, but they make different marks, different blending. This particular brand has really fine synthetic hairs. So when you lay it down, you don't see necessarily the hair strokes. You just see the shape of the brush. Well, there's some with coarse hair, especially with oil paint, the hairs will kind of scratch into the paint and leave lines, which some people prefer but I just personally don't. So I always go with flat brushes and that's what they're called in the store. 